Hello, hello, hello! Kumusta po mga kamatinik? Welcome to our new episode. This is quarter 4, week number 1. And today's episode, we will be having the lesson all about area of the circle. But before that, I will present first the answer key from the previous episode natin, third quarter, week number 7. Please check now your answer. Here is the Mathrainga quarter 3 week number 7 answer key. Number 1. The answer is 47.10 or 47.1 inches. Number 2. 37.68 centimeters. Number 3. 9 and 42 hundredths or 9.42 inches number four 157 centimeters and number five 62.80 or 62.8 meters ayan congratulations to those who got a perfect score kaya naman abangan natin mamaya kung sino ang ating top five na sobrang bibilis na sumagot at nakakuha ng perfect score at sila ang ating Mathenics of the Week Kung gusto nyo ring maging Mathenics of the Week, sagutin nyo lamang ang ating math try nga. Pero syempre dapat tumutok muna para makuha nyo ang tamang sagot maya maya Kaya't makinig, manood na matuto kay Maestro Olaso Oops! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago kong video. Like, share, and don't skip the ads! <laughs> para maging masaya lang tayo mga kamatini. Simulan na natin ang ating aralin. Today, I'll be discussing the area of the circle. Before we proceed to our main topic, let's do first this activity. Complete the table by giving the value of radius if the diameter is given. For example, circle A, if diameter is 16 meters, what is the radius? If your answer is 8 meters, definitely you are correct. Now, if the diameter is 40 centimeters for circle B, what is the radius? If you can still remember, what is your answer? Yes, if your answer is 20 centimeters, again, you are correct. Well, how do we get the radius if the diameter is given? Just simply follow it. We all know that radius is one half of diameter. You just divide diameter divided by 2 to get the radius. That's it. When we say area, it is the number of square units in a plane figure. So, in getting the area of the circle, just simply use the formula. A is equal to pi r squared, which means yung r squared natin yan, it's radius times radius. But how is it formulated? The formula derived from the area of the rectangle or parallelogram, which is length times width or base times height. The base of the parallelogram, ayan po, yung base ng parallelogram, is referring to the half. Ayan, yung kalahati lamang po ng circumference of the circle. From yung ating formula, the whole circumference, circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So, divided by 2, kaya yung base niya ay pi r. Then, the width or the height po, is referring to the radius of the circle. So, from the formula of getting the area of the parallelogram, kung naalala nyo, base times the height. So, the formula now of getting the area of the whole circle is pi r times r or we have pi r squared. 
That's the reason why we have this formula. Take note of that, kamathinik, ha? So, let us apply now the formula in some of the examples. What if you are asked, what is the area of the pizza with a radius of 3 inches? So, we have here pizza and the given is radius. So, in getting the area, we will just follow the formula. A is equal to pi r squared, which means... Let's substitute now the value. We all know that the value of pi is 3.14 times the value of radius 3 inches multiplied by itself po yan. Hindi yan times 2 ha. Take note of that. So 3 inches multiplied by itself times 3 inches. So bahala po kayo kung alin dyan ang uunahin nyo yung imumultiply. Pwedeng 3.14 times 3 then yung answer times 3. Or you can uh, multiply first 3 inches times 3 inches, just like what I did, no? So, 3.14 times the answer for 3 inches times 3 inches is 9 square inches. So, multiplying now 3.14 times 9, so we have like this, 314 times 9, we have 2,826. Then, putting the decimal point two places because of the given 3.14. So, the area of the pizza is 28 and 2,600 hundredths or 28.26 square inches. So, ang ibig sabihin po nito ay square inches. Let's have another one. What if this is the given? What is the area of the 10 peso coin with a diameter of... 27 millimeters. So we have the given diameter. We all know that we have only one formula in finding the area of the circle. And that is A is equal to pi r squared given the radius. So anong mangyayari, Sir Marvin? We have the given diameter. So balikan natin yung activity natin kanina. To get the radius, just simply divide diameter by 2. So, we have the diameter, 27 millimeter divided by 2. So, we have 13.5 millimeters. So, we have now the radius. Let us now substitute the value. Pi is equal to 3.14 times the radius of, ayan, 13.5 millimeters multiplied by itself times 13.5 millimeters. So, let us just first multiply 13.5 times 13.5. So, we have 182.25. Then, we can multiply now 3.14 times 182.25 square millimeters. Para hindi kayo mahirapan, you just simply multiply na 182.25 times 3.14. Commutative property, no? Pwedeng balik tarin natin yan. So, 182.25 times 3.14. So, we have the final answer. Four decimal places. That's why we have 572.2650 or 572 and 2000. 650,000. So, we have now the area of 572.2650 square millimeters. Huwag kakalimutan ang units. Okay? So, it is also equal to 572.265 square millimeters. Kahit alin sa dalawa, ang sagot ninyo, parehas lang po, they are all correct. So, that is how we compute the area of a circle given the diameter. You have just divide it by 2 to get the radius. Let us now proceed. Level up natin to a problem solving. Suppose we have a problem. A circular table has a diameter of 1.2 meters. What is the area of the table? Round off the answer to the nearest hundreds. Let us first analyze the problem by following the four main steps in solving the problem. First is to understand. Let us analyze and understand starting with what is asked in the problem. The area of the table in the nearest hundreds. 
Kasi sabi dyan, you have to round off the answer to the nearest hundreds. So, we have the given only diameter which is 1.2 meters. So, ano mangyayari? Let's have to plan. We all know that the formula is A is equal to pi r squared. So, we need to find the radius given the diameter. So, that's why the mathematical sentence is 3.14 times the radius in order to get 1.2 divided by 2. Times, multiply again by itself to get the radius, multiply the diameter 1.2 divided by 2. So, that's it. Now, let us solve the problem. So, we have A is equal to pi r squared as the formula. And this is now the mathematical sentence. Let us get first the radius 1.2 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.6 meter or 6 tenths. Now, we have now the radius. So, 3.14 times 0 0.6 meters times 0 0.6 meter or 6 tenths times 6 tenths. What is 0 0.6 times 0 0.6? So, we have 0 0.36 square meters. So, let's multiply now. 3.14 times 0 0.36 square meters. 3.14 times 0 0.36 is equal to 1. 1,304 ten thousands or 1.1304. But according to the rule, you have to round off the answer to the nearest hundreds. So our final answer is the area of the table is 1.13 square meters. How did we get 1.13? Since we need to round off to the nearest hundreds, yung ating hundreds digit ay 3, yung katabi niya ay 0, it is round down. That's why 3 pa rin. Kaya we have 1.13 hundreds. So we have the final answer of 1.13 hundreds square meters. Then the last part is to check. You need to go back to the solution or use another strategy. But we are sure that the final answer in the problem is 1.13 square meters. Ayan. So, napakadali lang ng lesson natin sa area of the circle. Basta marunong kayo mag-multiply at mag-divide. It is very easy to get the area of the circle. So, I think we are done with this topic. So, madali lang tayo. This time, to test if you really learned in our lesson for this episode, fourth quarter week number one, Get ready and say, Math try nga! Alright, calling of you again, grade 5 learners. Please type or comment your answers in the comment section of this episode. Just type your name, name and location of your school, and your answers, of course. Don't forget to put the correct units. All the area is square units. Again, there are only five items to answer. You can post the question if you want to read and understand it over and over again. Are you ready? Let's do math try We have find the area of the following objects. For number one, what is the area if the diameter is equal to 14 inches? Number two, what is the area of the biscuit if the radius is 6 centimeters? Number three, what is the area of the circular table if radius is 25 centimeters? And number four, what is the area of the clock if radius is 10 inches? And number five, Mr. Olaso owned a circular lot. The distance across the lot is 10 meters. What is its area? So I think you have now your answer. Kindly comment it now and abangan baka kayo ang ating Mothnik of the week sa susunod nating episode. And before we finally end, I would like to present to you our Mothniks of the week. And our first Mothnik of the week, ang 
kauna-unahang nakasagot ng mabilis at naka-perfect walang iba from Pembo Elementary School Prince William C. Perez Our second Math Week of the Week from Santo Toribio Elementary School Marawoy, Lipa City, Batangas Congratulations to Ahara Ashbel L. Ahero Our third matinig of the week from, of course, ang aking pinakamamahal na eskwalahan, Rizal Elementary School at ang aking estudyante from Section Eagle. Congratulations, Vitor C. Arcega! Our fourth matinig of the week, wow! Again, from Rizal Elementary School, also my student, Congratulations, Princess Angel Leroux! And our fifth Mahi of the Week from, again, Pembo Elementary School, Hannah Lindsay B. Buktuan. Congratulations! Ayan, so congratulations din and thank you din sa lahat ng mga sumasagot. Actually, marami din ang nakaka-perfect doon sa ating comment section. Congratulations po! And keep up your good attitude. Remember that the best way to learn is to apply what you have learned. And if you get a mistake, do not worry. That is another way of learning. Again, shout out po sa inyong lahat na sumusuporta at nag-aabang at sumusubaybay sa ating mga episode. Maraming, maraming salamat po mga kaguro, mga magkulang at mga mag-aaral mula Luzon hanggang sa Mindanao. God bless po and that concludes our episode for the fourth quarter, weekend number one. Again, maraming maraming salamat. See you in the next episode. Happy learning!